Hello, welcome everybody. Thanks for joining this webinar today. Um, I'm joined also, just so everyone knows, by Carl Guthrie. He's a co-founder and the head of sales for ClimTech. Uh, today, basically, what we're going to do is just go have a brief overview of our products that are available through PMI. A uh, little history about ClimTech real quick is we started as a climbing company, manufacturing climbing anchors, and soon kind of morphed into uh, industrial fall protection with, with a lot of our, our patents and whatnot. Um, so mainly we specialize in anchors. So we'll move right into the slide. Um, here you go. Here's a, um, the Super Slider I Beamer, which just about everybody has a version of on the market. And what sets ours apart is it's lighter than most, and it slides a lot easier. Um, the way we get the lightness is from, if you see right here where my arrow is, on most other I Beamers, these are steel, and we've changed these to aluminum with a bronze insert. Another thing that sets ours apart is that we have a swivel D-ring. It swivels 360 as well as side to side. Switch to the next one. Okay, this is the RB anchor. I'm sure a lot of you might have seen this already. We do uh, quite well this unit in the fall protection market. It's a 5,000 pound removable anchor. It's very versatile. You can you have no you don't have to engineer any of your anchor points. You just drill a hole wherever you're at on the job site, and you can put in a 5,000 pound anchor. This comes in a fall protection model. It comes in also what we call a multi-use, which is used for rigging scaffolding, tiebacks, a lot of um, height access people use it on dams, um, bridges, things like that. They've used them for demolition work. We also make a 10,000 pound version in both models. So you have a 5 and 10,000 pound fall protection and also a 5 and 10,000 pound multi-use which has a lot of applications. It's very simple to put in, very simple to remove drill a quick hole, and you got an instant anchor. Here are some of the benefits of the, of the anchor. It can be used, you can put it um, in a vertical horizontal placement. It works in both shear and tensile. You can put it above your head. You can put it at the wall or on the ground at your feet. And you can see the low ratings here, the two sizes. And what's nice about it is it's, it's really fast for a worker to be able to get an anchor. I mean, if they have a drill, they can have an anchor within a couple minutes. And you just move it from hole to hole. To hole. So it's, it, um, it also helps with liability with contractors. OK, so this is some pictures of the unit being placed. The, the hole is drilled. You just put your thumb in the loop, your fingers on, your fingers on the trigger, you pull it back. You insert the unit in a hole, you, latch, you attach your lanyard or your carabiner, whatever you're going to attach to it, your ropes, you hook it in. And when you're done, um, you just pull it out. If, if you load the unit, say if you put a 1,000 pound load on it, uh, there's a little cleaning bush you can see right here. My, my arrow is down here and over here. That's a little cleaning bush and you can tap that and it releases the camming action. So you can pull them out. So you don't actually pull on the trigger. You just pull, you, you, you tap that little cleaning bushing, and it releases a unit. This is our new, um, it's a removable anchor similar to the RV anchor. This is what we call a toggle lock. And this works sort of similar to the other unit, but this, this bar here, the toggle bar, this will flip open. So you can, you can rotate this so it's, in a vertical plane, and you can insert it through a three-quarter inch hole through uh, thin wall concrete, which is called precast concrete, or you can also put it through steel I-beams. 
What's nice about this is there's another product on the market that works with steel I-beams, but it only can work in a tensile load. It cannot work in a shear. What's nice about this unit is it also works in a shear because the cable can flex over the hole plug right here. You see where my cursor is, and there's a radius, and you can flex over that hole plug. So if you have riggers um, working in, say, a a big amphitheater or a football stadium or whatever, um, a lot of times they have three-quarter inch holes in, in the flanges. You can just insert that through the flange and have an instant anchor. They've also been used for lifting. They lift um, sidewalks with it, concrete blocks, things like that. So a lot of demo, demolition applications. Here's some of the benefits. It fits in a three-quarter inch hole with the pretty standard drill bit. It's also the standard holes for most iron workers. They always use a three-quarter inch hole, so most of the iron will have three-quarter inch holes in place. It can expand from a quarter inch to four inches. It's only available in 5,000 pounds, but like we said, it both works in shear and tensile loads. And the unit can rotate 360 degrees inside the toggle bar. So I'm going to scroll back a, uh, a screen, and right here, this this main cable right here can actually turn because it's a ball and shank inside this little socket. There's a socket in here, and there's a ball and shank right in there. And this loop up here can sit there and spin and turn. So if there's any movement with your lanyards, it keeps your lanyards from twisting and things like that. It's a nice feature. Right now, the value, right now, the price of this is roughly about half the cost of what they call the girder grip, the other model on the market. So it's, it's got a nice price point to it, too. Okay, here's the toggle lock versus the competition. Now, up here is what I was talking about, the girder grip. The only problem with the, the couple problems here and problems with this is, one, it doesn't, like I said, it does not work in a shear load, only in a tensile. And also, there's no spring between here, so there's a lot of slop. So if you have a thin flange, the thing flops around a lot and moves around, and it gets a lot of wear on it. With ours, the spring pushes this hole plug up and makes it nice and snug. And then you can see the price, comparison in price, too. All right. Here's the toggle lock, a picture of it, a little better. You can see right here. This is a concrete substrate, and what I was telling you, here, here's the socket, and here's the ball inside it, so that you can see that this can spin around, this, and that can turn within each other. Here's an application where you see the unit is placed in this precast uh, holocore slab, and it locks in right here. Here's a picture of a typical toggle lock being used in a demo application. What they did is they rigged up this I-beam up here with these shackles, and they run these cables, and what they were doing is they were cutting the, the, the co um, concrete out of the sidewalk of this bridge. They had a crane, and they were just craning the slabs out, and they were pulling these out like every 10 minutes. So instead of having a jackhammer and bucket and barrel it and truck it out, they had this crane pulling the slabs out, and it really made their, their demolition production a lot faster. This is one of our newer products. We call this the Mega Swivel 10K. This is with this this unit was designed to take away away all the other D rings on the market. They have several D rings that are designed for steel. And it's several D-rings that are designed for concrete. All these D-rings on the market are all 5,000 pounds. What we did is we designed this to be a 10,000-pound D-ring that can swivel and rotate at the same time. Plus, it can be used for steel and concrete. So it's 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 one D-ring replaces all the other ones on the comp on the market.
As you can see, it works both in steel and concrete. Each unit will come with either a concrete bolt or a steel bolt that's included in the, in the kit. So they will get the mega swivel with the appropriate bolt. It's 10,000 pounds. The D-ring can rotate 360 degrees, and it can also flip-flop back and forth. So as the worker's working around in a circle, his lanyard's not twisting. And, and the attachment, the carabiner or snap hook, is wrapping around the D-ring and creating a binding action. So it can just spin with the worker. Here's some of the D-rings on the market. This is a weld-on, which is a fairly expensive D-ring. This is a double bolt-on for steel, similar with this one. You have to drill two holes in the steel and attach two bolts. With ours, you only have to drill one hole. So it's faster to install, plus you get all the rotation and twice the strength. Here's a competitive D, um, concrete one. This is only designed for concrete. It's only half as strong, and it doesn't have, it can't flip-flop, it can only rotate. Ours is much, ours is, is considerably cheaper than our competitor here, which is an inferior product. This product here works great for fall protection, rigging, height access. Uh, uh, it could be a, a temporary anchor. It could be a permanent anchor. It's got a lot of applications where you can mount it on the side of bridges, steel, steel structures, concrete walls. Uh, there's applications potentially for on bumpers for four-wheel drives, any type of uh, connector that you need out, out for whatever application you got. Really a big asset um, anchor for, for height access and rigging. Here's it, here's it being installed. You just drill a three-quarter inch hole. It comes with a concrete bolt. You tap it in. You torque it down. And you got your anchor. Super easy, super fast. Now we're going to show you a few of our uh, new products that we have on the drawing board that are coming up. It will be available soon. Give you a little... Um, taste of what Climtech's working on here in the near future. This is our, our Mega 10K Hybrid. What this unit is, it is our Mega Swivel 10K, which you've already seen, and it incorporates our RV anchor technology. So it's a combination of both units. This is for, this is, um, for uh, a more of a temporary use if you want a solid anchor that you want to use over and over. Mega swivels are more of a semi-temporary permanent anchor. This one here is a more of a reusable one. It's 100% retrievable and reusable. And it, the cone here, if you insert the unit in, you screw it down and it locks in and it works sort of on the same principle as the RV anchors with the expanding wedges here. What's nice about it also, it's a 10,000 pound anchor. As you can use it, it's been great for tieback, staging, rigging, lifting, and numerous other applications. All potential into theatrical and movie sets, markets like that. This is similar to the Mega 10K Hybrid, but it's our mining bolt. And what this unit does is actually inserts into the steel split set. It's called a split set or a friction rock bolt. These, these bolts range from 18 inches to 4 feet long, and they're embedded inside underground mines, tunneling, and, and some quarries. And what they do is these, these friction rock bolts prevent collapsing. So they drill them about every 3 to 4 square feet, they insert these pipes, and it keeps the walls from collapsing. They also use them for hooking the air lines, water lines, things, electrical lines, things like that. What's nice about ours is that our mega swivel can insert right in these pipes that are already in the underground mines and tunneling, and it locks in for a 10,000-pound anchor.
This is coming soon. This is our new mega swivel, which you've seen. This is going to be a 5,000 pound version. It's going to be made out of 316 stainless. It's going to have um, the same capabilities as the mega swivel 10K, but only 5,000 pounds. But it's going to have it for corrosive or marine environments. But you can use it for tie back staging, things like that. Good potential for wind energy, oil rigs, offshore platforms, things like that. These are some uh, YouTube. Um, these are YouTube videos that you can check out to see how how these products work in action. So it's a video of actually how they're installed and removed. Okay, that that ends our presentation for today. I know you're going to have some questions, so we'll be available for any questions. All right, let me just. Take this screen back real quick. Okay. All right. So you can go ahead and type any of your questions in the chat slash questions area of your control panel. And um, we have a couple already. So um, we'll just go ahead and do those and um, feel free to type in your questions as we go. Um, the first question is, can the mega swivel be used on wood poles like a rope course with the proper bolt? Um, I got to. Uh, and do I do I get to see the questions, or are you just can tell them who they are? No, I just read them to you. Oh, okay, okay. We haven't tested in wood. It would depend on on the thickness of the wood. If it was if it was a say a four by twelve beam, and you drill in the middle of the beam, I'm sure that we get up plenty of strength out of the beam. To work, the mega swivel can work. The mega swivel absolutely will work. It's a question of how strong the beam is going to be. Okay. But most likely, if the beam's thick enough, yes, you could use them in, in wood. Okay. The next with the question. Length bolt. Okay. The next question is: Does the Mega 10K come with both concrete and steel bolts? Either, it will come with either one. So if you order a Mega Swivel 10K for steel, it will have a four-inch grade eight bolt with a lock nut and a lock washer that will include in in the package. If it's for concrete, it will come with one of our drop-in concrete sleeve anchors. So yes, they do come with the bolts, but it will only come with either concrete or steel, unless you request. You want one of each in each package, we can do that, but there will be a small additional fee to the, you know, because of the cost of the bolt. Okay. Um, we, also supply, we also supply additional um, concrete bolts if they want additional bolts, like if they want a mega swivel with six bolts. Okay, great. Um, the next question is, Quality of material which the anchors are placed is key. How do you recommend the user assesses this? They're going to have to make sure that the, that the, the concrete is 3,000 PSI. That is going to have to be um, figured out either through the general contractor or the architect or somebody that constructed the building if it's an existing building. Most modern concrete nowadays is over 3,000 psi, especially if it's been it's cured for several months. It'd be really hard not to find 3,000 psi concrete. Um, but if there was a concern, if it was an old old building and the concrete was rotten or decayed, you would have to possibly have some concrete tested at a laboratory. But most construction, modern construction, the PSI is well over 3,000 pounds. And that information should be available through the contractor or the architect of the building. Steel is not an issue, as long as it's a quarter inch thick. Okay. 
Okay. Um, do you think a professional engineer is necessary to approve the anchor every time it is placed? The mega swivel? Um, it doesn't say, but I would assume so, yes. Okay, I'll answer, I'll answer both. In, a fall protect, in our fall protection market, um, the, the bolts can be inserted by a competent, a competent worker who's been, who has skills in the industry. A lot of times these guys are trained in fall protection or rigging, or rigging height access. If they're a competent trained person and they know the integrity of concrete strong enough, you do not need to have an engineer to engineer the units to be placed. It's very similar to the other concrete anchors that are on the market, all the other D-rings and things like that. They're already on the market. That's the beauty about the removable bolt is that you don't have to have pre-engineered inserts in the concrete with the product, as long as the integrity of the concrete is, is in the units installed properly by a competent person. Okay, great. And um, that is all of the questions so far. So if you, oh, we got one more. Um, let's see. Can okay. the can the RB anchor be used for a life safety load? A life safety load. If it, if they're talking about a safe working load, our multi uses can be used up to a thousand pounds for the five thousand pound and two thousand pounds for the ten thousand pound. The fall protections are actually a life saving device. They are used for fall protection. So yes, they can be used for a life safety load. If they're going to be used for fall protection, you have to make sure that you use the fall protection model and it's only used for fall protection. There's very strict regulation with a fall protection anchor that you can't lift or rig off a fall protection anchor. It can only be used for fall protection. So there has to be a separate of those units. OK, great. Um, so if anyone has any other questions while I'm wrapping this up, you can feel free to type them in. Um, also, you'll be able to ask further questions via email. I'm going to put um, an email link on the website shown on your screen in a few minutes. And then the, down, the slides from this presentation and the live recording of this presentation are going to be available within 24 hours at that link. And the PMI webinar series hosts a webinar on the first Tuesday of every month. So mark your calendar for March 1st at 12 p.m. Mountain Time. And you can keep an eye on their website for the topic. And also for news and updates, you can follow us on Facebook and Twitter. Um, our, the Pigeon Mountain Facebook and Twitter links are shown. And then also we have a Facebook link for ClimbTech shown there. And it looks like we don't have any more questions right now. So... That's about it. So thank you guys for doing this for us. It was very informative and very enjoyable. Thank you. Thank you. All right. Have a great day, everybody.